Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about data interpretation. It is one of the most guaranteed topics in the UGC net first paper and many other exams as well. Data interpretation means data analysis. Data might be given in different formats like tables, bar graph, pie chart and etc. However, most often it is given in tables only and at least 5 questions are asked based upon this data. The questions are very simple but it will take a lot of time and we don't have that much time. That is the problem. Therefore, we are going to discuss how to solve these questions within a few minutes without taking a lot of time. What strategies and smart ways we have to use for that. Before going to solve some questions from the previous paper, you need to know some major concepts and tricks like percentage and average. So everyone knows the average. It is simply mean. Take this sum, divide by the total number. Therefore, I am not going to discuss that. Let us focus on the percentage. Coming to the percentage, let us start by taking an example. Suppose we know already 15 percentage of 200 is 30. Regarding this statement, three questions can be asked about this information. First is, what is the 15 percentage of 200? The second one, 30 is what percentage of 200? Third one, 30 is 15 percentage of what number? Regarding this single statement, which is 15 percentage of 200 is 30, there are three different questions. Therefore, I have seen many people memorizing three different formulas to solve these three different questions. But it is not at all needed. There is a single formula that is very easy to understand and recall later. If you understand it, you can solve all three these problems very easily. So the theory behind is that whole divided by 100 multiplied by percentage is equal to part of the whole. So according to our story, the whole is 200 divided by 100 multiplied by percentage is 15 and the part of the whole is 30. Here the 100 is constant. It will be the same in every time. And there are three numbers, 200, 15 and 30. If we know any two of them, we can solve the third one very easily. Single theory is that we have to use board mass. So let's start from the first question. What is the 15 percentage of 200? So wall is 200 and divided by 100 it is constant and the percentage is 15 then part of the world. That is the question asked about. Now let's solve this question. It is very straightforward. It is 2 here. 2 into 15. It is 30. So 30 is the answer. That is the 15 percentage of 200. Now let's look at the second question. 30 is what percentage of 200? Here we know the part of the world and world, but we don't know the percentage. So 200 by 100, we don't know the percentage, but we know the part of the world, it is 30. Now we have to use board mass. I am taking this 100 here and 200 here. So percentage is 15. That's very simple. Now let's look at the third question. 30 is 15 percentage of what number? Here we know part of the world and percentage but we don't know the world. So world divided by 100 into 15 equal to 30. So I am taking this 100 here, 15 here. So it is 200. The world is 200. The theory behind is that if you know any two of them from world percentage and part of the world, we can easily get the third one simply by putting that numbers into the equation and use the board mass. Now let's solve some questions related to data interpretation from the previous question paper. 
This is one of the questions that has come in the previous papers. A table has been given and there are six questions related to that table. So let's solve each question one by one. So the question says that for a country, CO2 emissions from various sectors are given in the following table. Answer the questions 24 to 29 based on the data given. So these are the years. There are five different sectors, power, industry, commercial, agriculture, domestic. So the first question says that what is the percentage growth of CO2 emissions from the power sector? So this is the power sector during 2005 to 2009. So from here, how much it has grown? So the options are 60, 50, 40, 80. So it is very near. So if the options are very near, we have to do the proper calculation. Otherwise, by guessing itself, we can answer some questions. We will come to that later. Here there is 500 and it has come to 800. So there is an increase of 300. Now we have to find this 300 is what percentage of 500. So here we don't know the percentage. So we will put these numbers into equation. Wall is 500 divided by 100 multiplied by percentage that we don't know and the part of the wall is 300. Now we will apply the mathematics. I will take this 5 here. So the percentage is 60. So the first A is the correct option. So it is very simple if we can identify what is the wall, what is the percentage and what is the part of the wall. That is what I wanted to tell you from the beginning itself. So let's go to the second question. This is the second question. It says that which sector has recorded maximum growth in CO2 emission during 2005 to 2009? We have to find from 2005 to 2009 the percentage increase of the every sector. But options are given power, commercial, industry and agriculture. There is no domestic. So we don't need to calculate the percentage increase of domestic. We will calculate only this for industry. For the power we have already calculated that there is a 60 percentage growth. Here it was 200. Now it is 450. So almost 125 percentage has increased here. How I have came directly to this 125 number is basically 100 percentage of every number is that double of that number. So once 200 comes to 400, it will be 100 percentage and 50 more. So 50 is basically 25 percentage of 200. So totally there is 125 percentage increase of CO2 emission in industry. In the commercial, it is also more than 100 but less than 125 that's what we are getting from this symbol guessing and here in the agriculture it is 80 80 has come to 200 so basically it will be 150 percentage increase of the 100 percentage is basically 80 plus 80 so it is 160 again there is a 40 40 is basically 50 percentage of 80 so totally there is 150 percentage so by simple guessing we have find the answer agriculture industry has maximum growth in co2 emissions during 2005 and 2009 here in this commercial case we have been calculated properly just a guess we have made that's it now let's go to the third question the third question says that by what percentage the total emissions of co2 have increased from 2005 to 2009 so we have add up all this then find the total sum here we have add up all this we have to find some here. Let's see. 500 plus 200 plus 150 plus 80 plus 100. So basically it is 1030. 
here it is 800 plus 450 plus 320 plus 200 plus 180 it is 1950 now we will find the difference between 1950 and 1030 so this is the difference now we can find the wall wall is this part of the wall this and we have to find the percentage so we will put it into the equation percentage is equal to 920 anyhow this 920 is almost near 90 percentage of this wall that we know okay so let's look into the options so the d option is not at all correct b is also not correct because this is almost 90 percentage of this wall c is also not correct so the option is a without doing the proper calculation we have come to the answer by knocking out the options which are not at all feasible that is the way you will deal with this kind of questions otherwise it will take lot of time now let's do another question here the question says that what is the average annual growth rate of co2 emission in power sector so this is the power sector we have to find the annual growth rate so totally there was a 60 percentage growth rate before but here first we have to find this growth rate then this then this then this here it will be almost 20 percentage growth is there here it is less than 10 percentage here also it is less than 10 percentage here it is little more than 10 percentage so if we take the average of this number basically it is 50 divided by 4 so it will be around 12 so let's see the options so d is not at all correct c is also not correct b is also not correct so a is the correct answer even without doing the proper calculation we had come to the answer we have served a lot of time so you should follow this method now let's see another question here the question is asked what is the percentage contribution of power sector to total co2 emissions in the year 2008 so we are only looking 2008 so basically we have to add up all these numbers and find 700 is what percentage of this total sum that's what basically we have to do 700 plus 400 plus 300 plus 150 plus 150 total comes to 1700 1700 is the wall and the part of the wall is 700 now we have to find the percentage so 1700 divided by 100 into percentage is equal to 700 and taking this 17 here if you solve this roughly i am solving so in 70 how, how many 17 will be there it will be more than 4 so around 40 percentage is the answer we are getting here so let's look at the options so the b is the only probable option because a is not correct c is not correct d is not correct so b is the correct answer we haven't completed the calculation still we got the answer so don't spend a lot of time doing all this and that maths follow these tips now i have shown how to approach the data interpretation sometimes we have to do the proper calculation if the options are very near and similar if it is not near and similar simple guessing will work and we can save a lot of time so practice it do the best.